Hey everyone, before I get started telling you about this mixed media piece, I wanted to let you know that I've opened memberships on my channel. Um, I, I do a lot of art experiments and working with new supplies and new tools and getting those supplies, it can be uh, a little bit daunting financially. So I need some support and some help to be able to continue to make the content that I make. So I've opened memberships as a way for you to support me financially, but also to get some great perks. So I have three membership tiers. You can see them on the front page of my YouTube channel. There's a join button that will tell you all about them. And, or I've put a link to that in my description of this video too, so you can check out those different tiers. There's a 199 tier, a 999 tier, and a 1999 a month tier. So um, check those out. I'd love to be able to share those perks with you and, and be able to bring you this great content. So this is a mixed media piece that I actually created a long time ago. This is, these are snowflake chipboards that I'm using. I purchased these from Creative Embellishments and I'll put a link to that in the description as well so you guys can see what I'm talking about. They have great chipboard and it's really affordable. So if you like to work with thicker paper, different embellishments in your pieces, whether they whether they be encaustic or mixed media. Uh, Creative Embellishments has some great stuff. So what I'm doing is I just set the snowflakes down on the canvas and I'm spraying, this is acrylic paint that I've thinned down with a lot of water to kind of make it more watercolory, I guess, um, or more like ink. I did use a little bit of India ink in here too. And I'm just using different blues to kind of give a, to create a cool background uh, with winter colors and snowflakes. So the reason I set the snowflakes down is they're acting as kind of a, oh, I'm not sure what the term would be, like a resist? That's not really the right word, but um, what I'm doing is I'm letting the paint and the ink dry on the surface with the chipboard still there. And then when I lift the chipboard off, it leaves the impression of the snowflake behind. So that's the way that I'm creating kind of this background. And I'm, I'm doing a little bit of, of white, kind of blending it with some other colors that I haven't thinned down over the top, just to kind of create more of a windy, kind of windswept look. The canvas is pretty much dry by now. There's a little bit of moisture still under the chipboard where it hasn't quite dried yet, but I'm gonna be, as I lift up the pieces, I'll be kind of soaking that up and the, it makes the impressions a little bit more sharp. You can see the impression there. It worked really well. So my main goal with this piece is to kind of layer the snowflakes. So, so I've got the impressions in the background layered with some white and some blue to kind of, to kind of cover them halfway a little bit to show that they're maybe inside of a blizzard a little bit. And then I'll be building up the texture on top of that to make it more 3D and then adding the, those chipboard pieces into the, uh, into the texture paste. Now this is kind of a shimmery white that I'm adding to the surface, but I didn't want to, I wanted to do it more haphazardly. So this is a great technique for, for anything that you do, any, any type of painting, whether it's encaustic or mixed media.
So the chipboard got a little bit of paint on it when I was doing the, the resist uh, on the surface, but now it, they need a little bit more paint because these are very brown and natural color. So they need it to be white and blue and So I've whitened them up, but now I'm adding a little bit of blue ink. And I love the feathering look that you get when you add ink with water. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm, I'm spritzing the, the chipboard, but then splattering ink over it so that the ink kind of feathers a little bit. And it's not just little dots. It's, it's this, this cool uh, blending of the, of the blue. Now this is Liquitex modeling paste, and it's actually pretty, uh, this, it, it's normally, I believe, a little bit more, has a little bit more moisture in it. This is a little bit kind of dried out because it's in a large tub, and I think it had been a while since I'd used it. So I had to really work to stick it to the surface because it was a little bit dried out. See, I even have to use my fingers to get it to to really adhere. And also, my fingers, you know, coming up and down on it, um, it adds some texture. It makes it gets gets rid of those uh, palette knife strokes and makes it look, you know, less painty and more snow swirl. And you don't need anything else, really. I just am sticking the chipboard right into the texture paste.
So I'm trying to go for a swirl effect with the texture paste. Kind of um, in a blizzard or, you know, the, the, the kind of little, they're not tornadoes, but kind of where the, the snowflakes and the wind, maybe it's more of an animation thing. You see it in cartoons sometimes, but that's kind of what I was going for, that, that kind of swirly look. And I, I really, I don't know if I did it as well as I would have liked to have done it, but I think I did it. And I think that there's quite a bit of movement to, to the overall piece because of, because of that kind of swirl kind of look, not just with the background, but, but with the texture paste too. And now the, uh, the final step is to kind of blend those snowflakes and those, that texture part into the back of the painting. So I'm adding some more of that same a watered down acrylic paint to kind of blend it so that the, the white isn't so stark against the background. And then this is snow effects paste. So it's it's like a texture paste that's got like sand or something in it to make it really gritty. And it uh, it's supposed to kind of mimic the effect of snow like in art projects and things. So it's very 3D, kind of puffy. I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but this piece is actually for a friend to commemorate her 10 year anniversary. She and her husband were married in December, so they had a winter wedding. And uh, that was what I was going for here to kind of showcase that theme. And I mean, I feel really cold when I look at this piece. I don't know about anybody else, but it definitely screams winter. And the texture is so fun. I love the pits and the valleys and the, the high mountain peaks of the texture paste with the, with the snowflakes kind of embedded in it. It's just, it's so cool. I really love the way it turned out. Just adding a little more texture to some of the other areas. Not too much, just a little bit. And the ink too, it kind of softens up the texture paste and makes it look a little more organic as well. And kind of helps to get rid of some of those, those, um, those knife strokes and finger marks. Now just a little shimmer on top. And that's pretty much it for this piece. It was it was pretty simple, really. Not a whole lot of techniques, just a whole load of texture. And those pieces are always fun to create, just to see 
how I can how I can really blend it together with all the elements and create those peaks and those valleys and those kind of little mountain ranges. It's working with texture is really, really fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I, I really hope that uh, you check out my memberships. Don't forget to hit subscribe as well so you get updates on new videos and content. And I will see you next time. Thanks.